I, the earliest remembrance I have of being sexually assaulted by him was three. You were three years I old? I was three years old. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I was the kind of kid, I was just like, hey, guess what, mom? <laughs> you know? And I was telling everybody. I wasn't the kind of kid who was keeping it a secret. Wow. But no one believed it. No one heard me. Like, I, I was never heard. And so everybody went on with their lives. And eventually, by the time I was seven, we were moved out there to Louisiana to live with them. And then it became a daily basis. And we, I was raped every single day from the time I was seven until I was 14. Um, I told her when I was five. And I actually told my, my grandma when I was five. And uh, my grandma went to my mom and said, this is happening. And she said, she, my mom came to me and said, you need to go tell everybody that you're lying. You need to stop telling such horrible lies about him and tell everybody you're lying. Now, was he manipulating them too? He, he didn't have anything to do with them. He okay. was manipulating my mother. Mm. You know, he had that. There was something, and I still to this day don't know what it was, you know, but there was some kind of power there. And so, and, and, and remember, she'd already been told by his ex-wife that he had raped his own daughters. So the fact that two years later a five-year-old came and said it was happening would make would solidify it for me as a mother, right? For yeah. you as a father, yeah. you know, yeah. if we would have even let it go that far. Mm -mm.